What's up YouTube, Warlock here, and today I'm gonna give you my Season 11 Apex Legends settings. Let's do it. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's season 11, and you know that we do this every single season. We have our season 11 Apex Legends settings. Now, my settings have changed a little bit from the last season. If you guys have seen the video, make sure to watch it. There's a link above, below, wherever it's at. Who knows? Um, but we're going to give you my settings. Now, this is for all my controller gang players out here. I'm on a controller. I'm on the Scuff Impact, which I need to get fixed. My joystick's all jacked up, but we're going we're gonna to make the best of it. So today, I'm just going to give a brief rundown of my settings. Okay, we're not going to go too in depth in things but i'm going to give you my settings and then we're going to jump into some of the recoil and stuff like that as you can see these settings are absolutely insane not a whole lot of recoil at all that can be used in this game uh just straight slam with the r99 okay we're on gibby we missed some shots there because i'm the best player in the world all right there we go let's get it rolling okay now i do want to say real quick for a disclaimer guys the settings are all about, you know, what's best for you. Now, I'm going to hop into some of the gameplay stuff, and then we'll hop into controller just to go over some things. But remember, it's all what's tuned a best for you. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm just going to go over the key things here, guys. So the biggest thing is crosshair damage feedback. A lot of people leave this on, but you want this off, okay? Shield with icon. You don't really need anything on. It's going to take up too much of your screen, in my opinion. It allows you to be more accurate with your gunshots. Damage numbers always stacking. If you want to have some flare on your screen floating, but stacking is always the best. So you get the total number of damage that you just dealt instead of just floating and trying to count it up. Uh, weapon cycle always off. Okay. I used to have this on, but I found myself a lot of times, you know, when I would run out of ammo on my first weapon and then it would auto swap to my second weapon and then I'd be pressing triangle again and it would swap back to my weapon that's unloaded. So, for example, guys, here we go. I'll show you. So here we go. We got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I'm out of heavy ammo. See, with it off, it, it won't swap. I have to manually do it. But if we go in and turn it on, right, then when I go and press it, it swaps. But then I'm always swapping because I know my weapon's out. So to me, guys, if you have issues with that, just turn it off, okay? I have auto sprint on because my joystick is messed up. Although I do feel like if you have auto sprint off, you have more control and, and not you won't get as many dead slides you just press the joystick down and, and also you can see how it takes like a second for me to get going on the joystick you just press it down and go so i feel like you'll get your slides more often so you get a little bit better movement but for me i have it on just to make it easier uh jetpack always hold double tap off okay guys uh 3d damage is fine all this stuff is good you can screenshot it or share it if you want now over to the bread and butter okay i'm on button layout is default i don't change anything like this again guys because i have a scuff vantage so i got or excuse me scuff impact so i have four paddles on the back that i all have remapped i have slide or uh slide jump triangle or a square is my interact button so i can pick up fast and then triangle on my inner one uh so i never have to take my thumbsticks off the uh my uh my thumbs off the joysticks now if you want to change this bumper jumper is really popular it changes l1 and x which makes it a lot easier especially if you don't have a scuff um, Ninja, a lot of people like to use. Uh, even Grenader is really good, but a lot of people like Bumper Jumper. Um, or you could do Button Puncher, especially if you're a claw player, so that way you have Crouch as your R3 button. But I leave it on default, guys. Stick layout is also default. Tap, reload, interact. So here's the thing, right? We have a problem with being able to reload when we're sitting on doors or uh, hiding behind somebody's shield when they're down. So the only way to change this is go to tap to use and hold to reload. Now I have tried this. It does happen. It makes it a whole lot easier when you're sitting on a door to reload, etc. But it's something to really get used to because I'm always used to just tapping. The hold is about a second or two just to reload. So let's so see. It takes a second to reload as opposed to if I'm if I just have it on tap, right? Like if I like if I fire, I can just tap it and immediately does it and I can go back to moving around. Um, so it just kind of depends if, if you find yourself like behind knockdown shields or behind doors so much that you, you know, you want to be able to reload on those things and just without swapping or, or whatever you want, then use it on tap, tap to use, hold to reload. Um, but to me, I'm still tap, tap, uh, crouch button toggle over hold always. Uh, it is easier to bunny hop with it on hold because you just hold it down and then you just tap X to bunny hop around. Uh, on toggle you got to kind of go back and forth like that so but for me i like it just to be able to toggle because if you're on hold and you're just if you don't hold it down then you like stop sliding right there 
it's a little bit harder but i like it but if, you, if you're a big fan of uh, bunny hopping on controller then you could definitely do it you know you can bunny hop around uh you know to me it's it's the same i'd rather just have it on toggle aim always survival button on uh, you can turn this off if you got the uh, kunai and you want to spin that sucker around uh trigger the dead zones i did have it on none but i have it on default it didn't really change too much for me menu cursor speed this is going to change for everybody so me i have it on the default because i think it's really fast a good way to measure that is to just press your home button or whatever your button is on xbox move it and then move it around here to select a character so if i'm if like i'm bloodhound then i want to be able to move and grab bloodhound really quick and then that way you can get a good gauge always start at the uh at the bottom guys and work your way up now if you look at my look in uh look sensitivity and ads sensitivity this is the best part again guys this is all about what is best for you okay but these these settings really worked for me when i was not using alc we were on super high classic very high it was great small inverted off and the vibration off but advanced look controls okay this is the bread and butter you're gonna have the most customization that you can and really fine tune that aiming okay really fine tune like everything that you want so dead zone I have at 5%, outer threshold 2%, response curve at 8%. My yaw and pitch speed, this is where you look around, left, right, up, down. At 380 over 280. Now, if you want to be a little bit more flashy, you could turn this up. But I found this to be a really good mark for me. Um, then everything else, turning yaw and pitch speed, ramp time delay, uh, all off. Okay, I didn't. I, I started to use turn the extra turn yaw. So what, what this means is that if like... You're starting to spin if you if you just normal spin it's going to spin at whatever your number is for your y'all but if you hold it all the way you're going to get that extra spin see how it like pulls a little bit more but to me i just didn't find it like that much like that useful and it didn't really make a difference so i have that off ads y'all speed and pitch speed i have 165 over 135 a lot of times i go between 145 to 165 um it just depends 155 is a really good median you see it just we just beam here it doesn't really change anything a lot of the reason why i did this was to be able to uh have a high enough you know ads look speed to be able to flick a little bit better especially with the wingman you know so that makes it a little bit easier plus in correlation with my six five on a regular this is going to be around a five to six probably a five on regular ads mode so uh, 155 between 145 and 155 or 165 and then 135 for your ads everything else off guys and then on i'm on origin so i don't have the pc to console but if you're on steam i think that shows up otherwise if you're on console guys uh then just always use console if you're on console otherwise using pc on console will put you at a disadvantage that makes no sense with aim assist guys aim assist is king screw what the pc players say okay so those are the settings guys uh i don't really change anything here just double buffer, turn all that stuff off. Um, and then for master volume, I have it at 75% because I have a mixer. I turn that up. Uh, sound effects at 100%, guys. Music down, all that good stuff. Um, I guess one last thing you can mention is just being uh, the colorblind mode. I did, like, mess with this. If you guys like uh, any of these, that's fine. Normal is just fine for me. It doesn't really matter a whole lot but those guys that's it for the settings video let me know what you guys think down in the comments like subscribe guys i really do appreciate it, it helps with the youtube algorithm and let me know down in the comments guys if these settings really help you out you see that there's not whole not a whole lot of recoil on this on the r99 we're gonna grab the the flatline real quick i'll just show you some uh some recoil on the flatline which is just insane i don't like to use anything but a sight but like the recoil on here is not bad at all if you're just like aiming like it just doesn't there's not a whole lot of recoil i don't want to say it's no recoil because it definitely takes a minute to be able to get used to this but once you do you start beaming but again guys this is the season 11 apex legends settings video for you guys if you like it please like subscribe do all that good stuff let me know down in the comments if you are using these settings let me know what you think let me know how they helped you and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace